<laughs> what's up guys hop on in welcome to my new car tour vlog i'm gonna give you a tour of this beautiful beautiful car but first let's go get some starbucks because i'm super super thirsty hop on in let's go driving your car it feels amazing because growing up um, I always took the bus and in high school actually fun fact in high school I went to a really really rich school but all four years I took the bus and it sucked because all my friends either had Mercedes BMWs G-Wagons Ford Raptors and they had these amazing cars right so when school would end they would all go to their cars and sometimes I would fake going to the parking lot and I would run right to the big yellow bus because that's what I took. I was used to taking the bus. I wasn't ashamed of it. I actually would not take it back because I met so many cool friends and I had a good time on the bus and memories that you'll never be able to get back. So I don't regret taking the bus or anything, but it's just to have my own car is an amazing feeling because growing up all I wanted was a car to drive I was tired of taking the bus and I worked really hard and I finally got my car so it's a really good feeling I really love my Honda all right guys so we are currently in line at the Starbucks I'm actually giving up coffee guys so I'm not getting anything with the caffeine I think the tea does have caffeine right caffeine right what do you want caramel brulee latte a caramel who caramel brulee latte brulee Brulee. Okay, what do you want? A uh, caramel brulee latte. What size? Um, grande. Can I get a grande caramel caramel <laughs> brulee latte? So I don't have the caramel brulee. I'm so sorry. Ooh, what do I you have want? the chestnut praline, or if you want to try the toasted white milk, sounds pretty good. It's like kind of like marshmallowy. Do you want to try that? Do you want to try that? So yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. So, do you want it hot or ice? You want it hot or ice? <laughs> hot, or ice? <coughs> hot, please. Can I get it hot, please? And still venti? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, a grande. grande. Okay, sorry. No, it's okay. And then it comes with whipped cream. Is that okay? Uh, do you want whipped cream? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. And any other drinks? Yeah, can I get a venti medicine ball? Perfect. And then can I add uh, two extra pumps of honey, please? Yeah, so we'll do four honeys. You got it. And anything else? Uh, that's it. Perfect. I'll see you up here. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yo, you always do that too. Anytime you order a drink, they never have it. Why are you getting a medicine ball? Because I just wanted a tea or something because it has like the citrus taste to it. It's pretty good. And then the honey on top of it. If you guys haven't tried the medicine ball at Starbucks, Go to your nearest Starbucks and try it because it's pretty good. Those do a lot of things. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I be in the cameras and I'm just like, "Hi." Because like she said, "Can I have a venti?" She said, <laughs> "Why wouldn't I?" Because. Yeah. I have ten twenty for you. Okay, cool. Thank you. There's that medicine ball. Awesome. Thank you so much. I think it's cold. Stop. She never fight you. Oh no, it's hot. Yeah. All right, awesome, you thank you. Sorry about the comment. It's okay. <laughs> God bless you. Have a good one. <laughs> thank you. So why aren't you driving a luxury car? A luxury car? Honda is luxury, baby. I'm just kidding. Um, actually, I got I got that question a lot when I posted my car, and I always get that from friends like, dude, why aren't you buying like a Mercedes or a BMW? For me personally, guys. I grew up taking the bus, you know, and I grew up kind of, you know, not wealthy. So a Honda for me was, has always been like my dream car or the car I wanted. My family all has Honda and it's just been the car to have. And when it came down to either picking a car that's reliable or picking a car that is not financially smart because cars lose value right when you leave the lot. Also, I'm not trying to flex for Instagram or the internet. I'm trying to live between my means, guys, and even under my means because I'm trying to save money to do things that I want to. I'm not trying to be in debt. And I thought buying a Honda would just be perfect for me. And when gas prices went up and everything went up, my Honda only took $40 to fill up for a full tank. How much is your truck? A lot. 
exactly so buying a honda guys was no question asked i went in there and bought it and uh, i don't look back the car's salesman uh told me that the model for the 2022 will last and stick the same for all newer models in the future so the 2023 the 2024 is still gonna look like my car baby so i don't regret it guys um in the future i'm <laughs> just kidding in the future i do want to buy a nice car a luxury car my dream car would either be a mercedes or an audi I'm not sure yet. BMWs are looking pretty nice. What's your dream car? A Mercedes. Yeah, so I might want to buy a Mercedes in the future right now, guys. No one tells you about the cost of insurance. When you're a first time driver, plus you have a luxury car, both goes up. So you're paying almost as much as a car bill when you get insurance. And no one tells you about the oil changes. For my car, it's a Honda Civic. For one oil change right now, it's about $160. That's expensive, so I can't only imagine how much a Mercedes car. I think my friend said he pays about 700 or so for maintenance. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I love my Honda. I love how it's low maintenance and it's reliable. Let me say that again. It's reliable, baby. I got my Starbucks. <laughs> it's hot. Oh, you can taste the honey in this drink. Let me know down below what your favorite drink from Starbucks is because right now i've been getting the medicine balls i don't know what they're, they're called citrus something but i always say medicine balls and the baristas always give me this so it's amazing but yeah that's why i don't have a luxury car i'm not in a rush to get a luxury car i love my honda i love how uh, good it is with gas it hasn't gave me no problems and i just love it why did you choose the color of your car um i chose black because it's the color of my soul i'm just kidding I just love black cars, even though they're so hard to maintain, guys. I will wash my car um, for one day, and the next day it will be dirty, filled with dust and everything, but it's just so worth it when it's nice and clean. I'm gonna show y'all how I really drive. Just kidding. I'm, I'm actually a really safe driver, guys. We're just going uphill right now. I can do, literally do this, and it stays, and it won't hit any objects, so it's pretty cool. So, I'm doing a walkthrough. Lighting doesn't do it justice. Really? When I first saw it is the front headlights. They renewed it. So if you check them out right here, it just looks mean. It gives it that mean look. All right, guys, here is the interior, the all new design of the Honda Civic. I love it. I got to pick out a lot of stuff because I pre-ordered it and I fell in love with it. I love the black on black. That's mainly what I wanted. I didn't want like no cream color because I definitely would have got that dirty. My legs fit comfortably. I do have the setting on the lowest part to lower my seat, but yeah, I fit comfortably. I mean, not too bad for someone that's 6'5". I mean, I have a lot of, can show the headspace? I have a lot of headspace right here. It's perfect. So we are now in my car. I love what Honda did with this. Let's do that again in silent mode. Ready? I love that noise, guys. This is the front dash. I love it. Let's turn it on. I actually do have my iPhone adapter right here. All the controls and settings are right here, which is pretty cool. I do have my car, my Apple CarPlay connector that I connect right here. And I don't have that on right now, but it's usually right here. I love this honeycomb netting. A lot of people actually loved it, surprisingly, because when I first got it, I had so many compliments on it. And then the side trims that match it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then the front steering wheel, just switch things up. And it does tell you, like if someone's sitting in the front and doesn't have their seatbelt on, in this case, I'm sitting in the front. I don't have my seatbelt, and I'll tell you to put your seatbelt on. I've racked up about 35,000 miles, and I've only had it for a year. I do drive a lot, but this is my daily, and I definitely drive this car everywhere. I go to Los Angeles for work a lot. I travel everywhere. I've been on two road trips with this car, so I definitely put in a lot of miles on this, but it's still doing me really good. I love the gas mileage. I love everything about this car I fell in love with. 
I can kind of just have the settings right here. Bam, you can switch it. And then Apple CarPlay just, boom, goes right there. All right, so my favorite part about this entire car, well, I love this car entirely, but is this baby right here. Look at this. Woo, it is a sunroof. Let's open this baby up. It has two modes. You can either open it up for a full view and you can sit right here enjoying the stars at night or enjoying the clouds in the daytime or in the summertime. It's the sun. But you can have the second mode is when you can close it, but you can have it at a tilted like that. And it makes your car look mean. Show the outside of it. And that's my favorite part of this entire car. The back seat is pretty nice. It doesn't have a sunroof back here, but I mean, I love that it just has one up here. I really don't have kids or anything. All right, guys, so that's it for my new, brand new Honda Civic 2022 car tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. I am very proud of this purchase and thank you, Rock Honda. That's who sold me the car. They gave me this really cool jacket or sweater. Thank you guys, I love you guys so much and I hope you have a blessed day. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and hit that thumbs up and let me know down below what car you want. Do you have a Honda? Let me know how it is. Love you guys, love you Team Mendoza. I'm just kidding, <laughs> what's up, what happened? Well, I thought we finished this video. What do you want to say to the year 2022? What I want to say to year 22, thank you for the blessings you brought me. Thank you for the pain you brought me because I also grew from that pain. And I'm excited for 2023 to just keep growing. But definitely 2022 was a huge blessing for me. It's where I really grew as a person mentally, physically. What this year taught me was to think positively because positive mindset always equals positive outcomes always, no matter what. And remember one thing, Walk by faith, not by sight, because whatever your life looks like right now, if you are in the worst area of your life right now, just know that it's going to get better because God said it's going to get better. And I promise you, you will get out of the dark storm and the sun will come, guys, because I was once that kid that had dreams. And now that I'm making them reality, anybody can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I love you, Team Mendoza. Keep chasing your dreams and don't let anyone tell you different. As long as you got God, anything is possible. All right, got to go.